All right, here we go. All right, I guess turn off the brakes here. Engines are coming up to 50% and one. <laughs> F90 is cheap, yeah. You, you are right. That is right. All right, we are stabilized. Here we go. All right, Manflex SRS runway auto thrust. Power set. 100 knots. V1. All right, maintaining directional control. I'm just gonna leave it on the runway for just a few more seconds. Now I'm gonna rotate and I'm gonna leave that rudder pressure in. Positive rate, not positive rate yet. Positive rate, you're up. Just gonna keep that rudder pressure in, keep that side slip indicator centered. This is supposed to turn blue, but it's not turning blue right now, so I don't know why. I'm gonna turn on autopilot just to help me out here a little bit. That's weird, this did not turn blue, and I do not know why. But I'm gonna pull heading for runway heading. And around 400 feet, the flying pilot will call ECAM action. I'm gonna hold on doing those ECAM actions right now, just because I can't do two people's jobs at the same time, so. And I'm gonna actually just push it up to toga and start a timer for our uh, 10 minute limitation on toga setting. All right, 6860 is our acceleration altitude. At that point, I'm gonna push to level off on the vertical speed indicator. So it it is, okay, beta target is working now, Pete, and it did work earlier. All right, there's roughly 6860. And the big check ride fail is to not is to fail to turn to your engine failure path. So I'm turning to heading of three five zero. So right now, once the flying pilot was ready, he'd call ECAM action. That means that he's ready to fly the airplane, run the radios by himself, and the non-flying pilot would be fixing the problem here on this ECAM. Like I said, I'm holding off on that for now. All right, as we accelerate through S speed. We would call for flap zero. Speed check, flap zero. Oh, wrong way. Oops. Ah, there we go. And as we accelerate to green dot, we're going to pull altitude to climb at green dot. All right, at this point, we're gonna pull back to M lever MCT. That's what it's asking for. All right, there's thrust lever MC, uh, that's the wrong one. So touchy, there's thrust MCT. All right, now as a non-flying pilot, I'm gonna start working on this ECAM. There's really nothing to rush here. However, we can start to turn on these packs here. I'm gonna turn on pack number one. I'll just leave that off since that engine failed anyways. So, all righty then. Engine two fail, ECAM action. Thrust lever two, idle. So we're gonna pull this thrust lever to idle. If no relight after 30 seconds, engine two master off. And I'm gonna reset this clock here real quick for 30 seconds. Now I'm just gonna wait 30 seconds and see if it does an auto restart. Wait, what was that about failure? I don't know. I can't remember, what did I say? <laughs> I can't remember, Pete. So yeah, the beta target did work. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can't control it, dude. Um, on this stick, it's kind of difficult, especially with the uh, trying to do the rudder. With this. Okay, there's 30 seconds. If no relay after 30 seconds, engine two master off. All right, if damage. On the number two engine, we have no rotation on the N1, no rotation on N2, which means that 
we have a damage. So if da we see that there is evidence of damage there, engine two fire push button push. There we go, and we got the squib light. Agent one after eight seconds discharge. Uh, engine two relight consider. No, we're not going to do that. It's damaged, so shut down. If no fuel leak, imbalance monitor. So clear engine two. Clear. Uh, TCAS mode selector TARA, or sorry, to TA. And max speed is 240. If, oh, if there's a buff at max speed, 240, avoid icing conditions. So clear engine two. Clear. There we go. All right, so now it's going to take us through a series of systems pages. This bleed page is showing that yes, we do in fact have a failure of the right side of the right engine. Clear bleed, clear. And on the electric page, Gen two is out. I'm going to go ahead and start the APU so we can get an extra generator in there. All right, clear electric, clear and clear hydraulic. All right, before we begin the status page, we're gonna complete the after takeoff checklist, which we've already pretty much done, but I'm gonna just run through real quick. Uh, all right, pretend like it's done. Actually, I forgot that that is still up. And now we go through the status pages. It's actually pull speed. I don't wanna get too fast here and get too far away. Full speed, uh, avoid icing additions. If and if no engine two damage, consider it a two relight. But we did have damage. Cat three single only. All right, in op systems, we've got wing anti ice, cat three dual, uh, engine two bleed, pack two, main galley, gen two, yellow, engine two pump. So clear status, clear. All right. 